In general, the smaller you make a project, the nicer it's gonna look using thinner wood. If you can, try to get away from using three quarter inch lumber for small projects. So for this box, I'm gonna use quarter inch solid oak. This is a piece that I already planed down at some point and I had it in my scrap bin. So all I need to do with this is to just rip this down to its width. I'm gonna set my blade to a 45 degree angle. If you don't already have one of these digital angle finders, I highly recommend it. I'm cutting a real shallow shoulder along the edge of each of these strips. With my fence moved back a little bit, I can cut a groove on the inside of each of these box pieces. I'm cutting the top and bottom panels out of eighth inch plywood. Think about making these kind of boxes just to keep in mind which is the top and which is the bottom because when we separate that lid that's going to be important. In this case it's going to be easy to remember just because I have that knot right there on the top. I've temporarily attached a taller fence here so that I have more support for the box as I run it through the router bit. And What I need to do here is just move this back another quarter inch from where it was when I made that inside groove. This is a test piece I used to test that first groove and I probably should have mentioned that it's a good idea to make a test piece and keep it so that I can now move this back right there and I can cut out the outside of the box. Usually there's just a little bit left holding this together. I'm transferring over an image I found online using my inkjet transfer technique. I'll put a link down in the description for more details on that. The main trick here is to really boost the saturation and contrast on your image. I'm gonna finish this box with a few coats of spray lacquer. I'm a really big fan of these adhesive backed felt pieces, makes it a lot easier to install.